God, I'm not reading that book anymore. It's very scary altogether, Ted. Ted. Yes, what? <clears throat> Did you ever see a ghost? Well, Dougal, I'll tell you something happened to me once. <clears throat> it was years ago. I was staying with my great aunt in her house in Connemara. <laughs> it was a big house miles from anywhere. Apparently, during the Great Famine, a cruel landlord and his beautiful daughter used to live there. The story is that he forbade the daughter from marrying a young soldier. It broke her heart, and in her despair, she hung herself in her bedroom. The room that I was staying in was that very bedroom. I remember it was icy cold and lit by a single candle. I was drifting off to sleep when suddenly I heard a strange creaking noise from the far corner of the room. Was it a ghost? No. <laughs> so no, I've never seen a ghost. I saw one. Really? Yes. It was a man, all dressed in black. And I came down one night for a glass of milk. And he was just sitting there in front of the television, just there, right? <laughs> it was weird. And you know, he had this strange kind of grey hair, even though he wasn't very old. Now, Dougal, Dougal, um, could this have been me at all? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Right, that should do it. Pity <laughs> That's working now, Ted. It's broken again. Maybe it only works when my head is in it. Ted, we should call the plumber. No, no, I don't want to get them involved. <laughs> Anyhow, I'd be too embarrassed to tell them how I broke it in the first place, you know, trying to give it an extra hard flush. <laughs> well, now, Ted, I have to say it was fine for me. It was a good, powerful flush, I thought. Yeah. I was thinking more about Jack. You know what it's like when he's involved. You want to get that stuff away as fast and as hard as possible. <laughs> Best thing would be for us to flush it here and have it pop up somewhere in Sierra Leone. <laughs> Oh, you're right there, Ted. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought Jack had stashed something in here. <sighs> okay, let's try it now. Bloody hell. Good news, Ted. I know. <laughs> very, very bad news. It's the Holy Stone of Clon Rickard. They're going to upgrade it to a Class 2 relic. Great! No, it's not great. It means they'll be sending over a few bishops to do a ceremony. And you know what they're like. We'll have to be on our best behaviour. I thought there was something up with the Holy Stone, all right. Wasn't someone cured there? No, someone was lured there. <laughs> short and then those fellas started to beat him with the sticks oh that was it yeah the holy stone it must be even holier than we thought perhaps it's something to do with that fella from england last year he touched it and he grew a beard wow <laughs> that's weird that'd be nearly enough to upgrade it to a class one. Oh, class one would be very rare dougal that would be bringing people back to life time travel cloning dinosaurs <laughs> very rare but there must be millions of relics all over the world. How do they know which ones to do? Well, there's all these things they have to think about. The history of the relic, how many miracles can be attributed to it. All sorts of considerations go into a decision like that. What about the Holy Stone of Con Rickard? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, Ted, cheer up. It may never happen. Well, it is happening. They're definitely coming. All right, yeah. 
But who cares anyway? I mean, they come in, they strip down the wallpaper, they fumigate the place and they're gone. What's so bad about that? <laughs> Dougal, they're bishops. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> Dougal, what is this confusion you have about bishops? Do you actually understand what they actually do? <laughs> Nothing to do with fumigating houses or anything like that at all. <laughs> have you got that? Got it. Anyway, Ted, let's play a game. Get your mind off it. Chess or buckaroo? Uh, <laughs> actually, I wouldn't mind a game of the old chess today myself. Really? <laughs> no, only joking, Ted. Buckaroo. <laughs> but only if you're ready for a good trashing. Dougal, you've never actually beaten me, ever. All right, yeah. <laughs> Still, eh? Buckaroo. The sport of kings. <laughs> I suppose it won't be so bad. The bishops will have a look around and see that we're a normal, everyday parish and go away. Nothing to worry about at all. <laughs> so the ceremony's on Thursday. And they're arriving tomorrow. Now, Dougal, this is crucial. Listen to me, all right? All right, Ted. These bishops are very important. I'll stay around you all the time, just in case, so you don't say anything to them that you're not supposed to say to them. Like what? <laughs> like what you said to Bishop Lindsay when he asked me where I was when Kennedy was shot. Oh, yeah. I mean, you overreacted slightly there. He wasn't accusing me of anything. <laughs> Do you know any of the bishops who are coming? I mean, what are they like? Bishop Fax is a good old pal of Father Larry Duff's. I'll try and reach Larry on his mobile. He's got a new one with an extra loud bleep. Shh. Almighty, why does he have a mobile if he never picks it up? <laughs> and then we have the problem with Jack. Couldn't we just hide him for a couple of days? <laughs> no, they'd hear him shouting, Girls! <laughs> Maybe we could train Jack to say something apart from drink or feck or girls, like, like, like a dog and that's life a few years ago. <laughs> Dougal, Father Jack may be bad, but he's not a dog. <laughs> There he is now. He probably wants to go out. <laughs> Wait. Maybe we could teach him to say one or two things. Nothing too specific. A few all-purpose sentences like, that would be an ecumenical matter. <laughs> yes, I can't think of any religious question that can't be answered by that. It's what I always say when people ask me questions. <laughs> That's the great thing about Catholicism. It's so vague and nobody really knows what it's all about. <laughs> I think it might work, Dougal. I know it'll work. It, it will work. It won't work, will it, Ted? <laughs> it won't, no. <laughs> but we have to try. Right, Father. Now, we're going to have a little elocution lesson. Drink! <laughs> now, Father, you can't be saying that all the time when the bishops come here. Thank! No, you can't say that either. Girls! <laughs> look, Father, just let's go back to uh, drink for the moment. Drink! Right, now, I want you to have a look at this. Have a go at the first one here. That. Drink! No, no, no. <laughs> that. Drink! Now, come on, Father, concentrate. That. Drink! 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 Now, come on now, Father, I know you can do it. There'll be a little drink in it for you if you do it. Drink? Yes, I promise. Now, come on. Try again. That... <laughs> drink! <laughs> come on now, Father. You almost had it. That... <laughs> that... Great! <laughs> that... Brilliant, Father. Let's keep it going here on the next one. That... Wood! That... Wood! <laughs> drink! <laughs> Mrs. 
Doyle, uh, you left the cooker on. All right, Father, I'll be there in a second. <laughs> Right, Father, everything's ready. There's a big vat of tea steaming away, and I've arranged the Ferrero Rocher in a big triangular pile. Oh, God, Father, I'm so excited. Taking on three bishops all at once. Oh, I can't wait. Right. You know, Father, I think this is going to be the greatest moment of my career. It's almost as if my whole life was leading up to this uh, moment. Mrs Doyle! Uh, Mrs Doyle, I'm over here. <laughs> So you are, Father. Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, have you got your contacts in? No. A dog ran off with them. <laughs> I thought I'd get away with it, but I suppose I'll have to wear the glasses. I don't like wearing them, Father. I feel they make me look like a frustrated old bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't imagine that. I imagine they look absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Father, are they that bad? No. No, no, uh, it's just a, a scary film I was thinking of. <laughs> They're fine, really. Great, well, uh, that's much better. Um, I'll just go and check on the tea, so... <laughs> Father? Mm? Father, I have absolutely no idea where the door is. <laughs> Yet, Ted. <clears throat> Dougal, uh, Dougal, uh, they're here. <laughs> Sorry about that, Bishop O'Neill. Uh, you were saying? Uh, yes, very simple ceremony. We'll just need a little incense. Oh, incense? <laughs> I don't know if we. Uh, Dougal, do you know if we have any incense? <laughs> there was a spider in the bath last night. <laughs> No, Dougal. Incense. Incense. Oh, right, yes. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> do you remember when we ran out of incense and uh, we used the <coughs> window leaking <coughs> Well, um, I'm sure we can find some. <laughs> so, are you uh, doing much upgrading around the country? Last month, we elevated a mushroom field in Cavan to Class 3. Great. Our work takes us all over the country. It gives us a chance to get in touch with the ordinary clergy, or the ground troops, as I call them. <laughs> yes, we're trying to organise a large meeting at the end of the year where all ranks of the clergy can discuss their views with representatives of the lay community. What do you think, Father Cleely? Sorry, what? <laughs> Do you think a close relationship with the lay community on this particular matter is desirable, or should a certain distance be maintained? Uh, yes, uh, good question. <laughs> um, well, you know, I think we should involve the lay community, but, but keep them at a distance. How much of a distance? A couple of miles. <laughs> Tea for everyone. <laughs> oh. Are you all right, Your Grace? Uh, yes, I, 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 I had a minor heart attack last year. I uh, have to take it easy. I got a bit of a fright there. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem. But if you could uh, just give us a bit of a warning when you're going to do anything sudden. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Ted, I just remembered Aliens is on after the news. <laughs> Google, for God's sake. I'm sorry, Bishop Jordan. Did you not hear what he's saying about his heart? I know, it's just, it's the director's cut. Come on, everyone, let's all have a big lad's night in. Google, Google, just, just show up. <laughs> a heart attack. That's rare enough these days. <laughs> there were certainly a lot of prayers said for Bishop Jordan. I don't Jordan know why we can't look at there. Aliens. Google, Bishop O'Neill is speaking. But they'd love it, Ted. No, they wouldn't. Bishops love sci-fi. Dougal, we are not watching Aliens! <laughs> anyway, back to religion. <laughs> you see, 
what I'm getting at. Our first priority must be to fight back against the anti-clerical bias of the media. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> Ferrero Rocher? <laughs> Father Ted, with these Rocher, you are really spoiling us. <laughs> Mrs Doyle. All right. Uh, Bishop, I'm sorry, you were saying... Oh, yes. I was saying we have to fight back against the media. Well, <clears throat> we must make our voice heard. Where is Father Hackett? Uh, Mrs Doyle, uh, could you get Father Hackett for us now? Certainty, Father. I must say, Mrs. Doyle, they keep you on your feet. My housekeeper isn't the best, I'm afraid. Sometimes I think that it's me that should be making the tea for her. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle. Making the tea for her. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, here's Father Hackett now. <laughs> He's been looking forward to your visit. Haven't you, Father? Yes! <laughs> this is Bishop O'Neill. Don't get up. Yes! This is Bishop Fax. Yes! And this is Bishop Jordan. Yes! <laughs> They're looking after you then, Father. That would be an... <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was just saying, Father, how I'm looking forward to discussing the social effects of some of the Church's thinking as regarding issues of personal morality. That would be an ecumenical matter! <laughs> yes, I... I suppose it would. It's a good point, Father. Yes, that's what we need! A more positive attitude like Father Hackett's. What? I agree. I can see Father Hackett making a valuable contribution over the next few days. Oh, God. Yes! <laughs> Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. We pray that this rock be upgraded to a Class II relic. And by the grace of God, bring healing to all who pass within a radius of two and a half to three feet of it at your discretion. And may all who are healed in such a way Give glory to you, our Lord, through your earthly form of this class two relic. Amen. 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 <laughs> I am sorry for detaining you, Father. We'll catch up with the others in a while. Yes! I so admire your positive attitude, Father. So many people are cynical about such things. You can hardly open a newspaper these days without reading some trendy anti-clerical article written by some bearded lefty. Yes! A spell in the army will do them the world of good. Uh, that would be an ecumenical matter. Oh, of course, Father. <laughs> it's the media that's a real enemy. Provoking these earthly from spiritual pleasures. Dictation. Ecumenical. Yes! Right you are, Father. How right you are. So, Father, do you ever have any doubts about the religious life? Is your faith ever tested? <laughs> Anything you've been worried about? Any doubts you've been having about any aspects of belief? Anything like that? Well... You know the way God made us all, right? And uh, he, he's looking down at us from heaven and everything. Uh -huh. And then his son came down and saved everyone and all that. Yes. And when we die, we're all going to go to heaven. Yes. What about it? Well, that's the bit I've trouble with. <laughs> that is the key to the matter, Father. When you come face to face with death, it makes you think about things. I saw that film recently, Apollo 13, and it reminded me of my own brush with death. Do you know what I mean? You mean... you were in space when you had your heart attack? No, how could I be in space? 
sorry, no, I suppose not. No, I meant I know what it's like to be close to death. Yeah, great. Anyway, I'm dying to use the old WC, yes, so you I'll... do that. I stay out here and take the air. So, if God has existed forever, you know, what, what did he do in his spare time, like, before he made the earth and everything, you know? <laughs> well, we all have doubts. And what about when you weren't allowed to eat meat on Fridays? Uh, how come that's all right now, but it, it wasn't back then? I mean, did the people who ate meat on Fridays back then, did they all go to hell or what? I mean, it's mad! <laughs> He's not bothering you, is he? No. No, it's fascinating. <laughs> I hope you had a nice chat. <laughs> oh, it was great. I think I reached some very interesting conclusions. Oh, uh, about what exactly? Well, it's nonsense, isn't it? <laughs> what is? Religion. <laughs> uh, well, think about it. Very little evidence. Blind faith, that's all we have to go on. There's not a shred of proof anywhere. Nothing. Aliens! Now, there's something that might just be possible. <laughs> Everlasting life? Big demons sticking red-hot pokers up your ass for all eternity? <laughs> I don't think so. The whole religion thing, I just don't buy it. I've been struggling with my conscience for some time now, but Father Maguire was the first man to spell it out for me in black and white. Oh, Dougal, what have you been up to? <laughs> this man. <laughs> this man! Treasure him, Father Crilly. He has wisdom far beyond his years. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Quick! It's Bishop Jordan! I think he's dead! <laughs> there! Oh, Lord! Yeah. That's a dustbin, Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> Terrible. Where's Bishop Fax? We have to straight out the media. That's the important thing, Father. And we have to do it. Now! <laughs> Dougal. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Bishop. No, no. Eddie. Are you sure you want to reconsider your decision? No. Anyway, it's too late. I'm off to India for two months with a few friends. Ah, there they are. <laughs> See you again, then. <laughs> uh, your Grace. The Holy Stone. Will it uh, still be a class two when they, um... <laughs> need it? God bless. <laughs> Went pretty well, I thought. 